when do errors occur quickly to understand what are the different stages so that we have an understanding of how, how and when errors occur. As we have said before that how do we prepare the journal, the books of original entry from certain documents like purchase invoice or a sales invoice or a deb debit note or credit note receipts these are certain base source documents on the basis of which the books of original entry or the journal are prepared if you remember the books of original entry the more common books were the cash book the purchase day book the sales day book the purchase return book and the sales return book this is the point of recording and errors could occur here while recording. Errors could occur here while posting. From the journal, we post to the ledger account. Instead of taking 1000 rupees, we may take 100 rupees. Instead of posting to X's account, we may post to Y's account. Instead of posting to the debit of X's account, we may take it to the credit of X's account. So there could be so many such errors. And from while the point of taking the balances from the ledger account to the trial balance, we may forget to take the cash balance in the trial balance. When we take the total of the discount allowed, we may have taken it in the credit side of the trial balance instead of showing it on the debit side and so on and so forth. There could be mistakes either at the stage of recording or at the stage of posting or while transferring balances from the ledger account to the trial balance to the trial balance. What are these errors? What are the errors which could arise while recording? What are the errors which could arise while posting? What are the errors which could arise when we transfer balances to the trial balance? While recording, omission of a transaction. Like I said before, the entire purchase transaction is not recorded. So we've got an invoice. There was a bill. There was a purchase made from X for 10,000 rupees. Totally not recorded. So neither is there purchase nor is there X account. There is less debit to purchases. There is less credit to the creditor for X's account. Two accounts out of the way. Mind you, in a mistake like this, normally the trial balance will tally. Because purchase is not recorded, creditor is also not recorded. Such an omission of a transaction. So if a transaction is entirely omitted to be recorded, purchase account is wrong, excess account is wrong. However, trial balance will tally. Similarly, it is possible that one transaction is recorded twice. Maybe a sale transaction has by mistake been recorded twice. So we made a sale of 20,000 to Mr. Y and this was recorded twice. Once with the original invoice, maybe the second time with some copy of the invoice. Somehow it got recorded twice. What would happen then? Sales account is wrong. It is 20,000 more than what it should have been. At the same time, Y's account is also more by 20,000. Again, in this case also, the trial balance will agree. Of course, both Y's account, customer's account is wrong, sale account is also wrong, but trial balance will tally. There could also be a partial omission of a transaction. Let us consider the example of a discount. Let us say we receive money from a customer. Amount received 49,000 in full settlement of an amount of 50,000. So what is 1,000? 1,000 is the discount. We have allowed a discount to a customer. We were willing 
to get 49,000 in full settlement of a bill of a due for 50,000. If you remember, such a transaction is recorded in the cash book. It's a receipt on the debit side of the cash book. We would have written to customer. What is the amount? 49,000 for the amount of check received in the bank column and 1,000 should have been entered in the discount. Let us say we record the 49,000 but we do not record 1,000 in the discount column. This is a partial omission of a transaction. So we have discussed full omission and a partial omission of a transaction. These are the errors which occur while recording, while making the journal, initial recording. In this case, what happens? Discount, the discount allowed expense, 1000 has not come in, therefore discount is less. At the same time, customer's account also has not been given credit because if it is not entered in the discount column, it will not be posted also to the customer's account. So here also, since both discount and customer, both are discount account, expense is less, customer account, the due from him should be still should be less by 1000 but is not recorded. Therefore, it is higher by 1000. Therefore, again, the trial balance will agree. Next, we may record a wrong amount. Instead of recording maybe 10,000, we record it as 1,000. Recording of a wrong amount. If we make such a record in the, say, purchase day book, instead of 10,000, we record as 1,000. Purchases will be less. Customers, the, the supplier's account would also be less. Therefore, again, trial balance will agree. Though purchase account would be correct and supplier's account, sorry, purchase account would be wrong and the supplier's account would also be wrong. So, recording of a wrong amount, again, the trial balance would again agree. Though two accounts may be wrong. We could make a mistake while recording in the cash book, in the purchase day book, in the sales day book, whatever. The amount may be wrong. But since the original amount is wrong, even the posting would be wrong. So two sides of the trial balance would probably agree. We record in a wrong subsidiary book. So purchase yeah, is entered in sales day book. In sales day book. Purchase is entered in the sales day book. What happens then? Purchase is wrong, sales is wrong and the person concerned, his account is also wrong but trial balance will still tally. It is true that it was a purchase, not entered in purchase, supplier's account not credited. However, where has it gone? It has gone into the sales table. Therefore, we now have an additional sales and we also have an additional debit to this particular person's account. Therefore, again, trial balance will agree. Next is a wrong totaling of a subsidiary book. We put this in recording here. Wrong totaling of a subsidiary book. If the purchase day book total was to be wrong, let us say we had purchases from A, we had purchases from B, we had purchases from C. Let us say this was 5,000, this was 15,000 and this was 10,000. The total should have been 30,000. Somehow by mistake, we have taken it as 20,000. In such a case, what will happen? 20,000 will go to purchases account. 20,000 will go to purchases account. 5,000 will go to A's account. 15,000 to B's account and 10,000 to C's account. So credit to A5, credit to B15, credit to C10,000. Total credit would be 30,000. However, debit to purchase 
would only be 20,000 and here it will not agree. So these are some of the errors which may occur while recording of transaction. A brief thing, omission to record the transaction, wrong amount recorded, partial omission of a transaction, transaction recorded in a wrong book, transaction recorded twice, all of this even the trial balance will agree, wrong totaling of a subsidiary book, it will not agree. It may be noted that this error is called, what is omitted is called an error of omission. Error of omission. Wrong amount recorded, partial omission of a transaction, recorded in a wrong book, transaction recorded twice, or totaling of subsidiary books are all known as errors of commission. Errors of commission. Sometimes when transaction is recorded in a wrong book, it could be also called an error of principle. For example, if we sell a machinery, sale of machinery on credit, such a sale of machinery is supposed to be recorded in the journal proper. A credit sale of machinery cannot be entered, should not be entered in the sales table. If the accountant has done it, entered in the sales day book, it is actually would be an error of principle. Error of principle where he is not aware of what is capital expenditure and what is revenue expenditure or he is not aware of what is capital receipt and what is a revenue receipt. <clears throat> Next. Errors may occur while posting. Errors may occur while posting. We forget to post. Omission of posting. If we do not post from the cash book, let us say, we do not post to the rent paid entered in the cash book on the credit side, but we forget to post to the rent account. So the cash book will be correct, but rent account will be wrong and the trial balance will not agree will not agree. Partial omission of posting. We post to customer's account. We do not post to, uh, we post the bank amount received from the customer to the customer's account. We do not post the discount. In this case, again, trial balance will not agree. One side will be correct. The cash book would be correct. But the other side, the customer's account cash and discount would be correct, but customer's account would not be correct. Wrong amount post. If we have made a purchase from X of 900 and when we post, we post that at 9000. Again, there is a mistake, mistake on posting and trial balance will not agree. What happens if there is a wrong totaling of day books? We've discussed this before. Again, here the trial balance will not agree. Like I took an example where purchases, purchase day book, you had A, B, and C. A purchase for 5,000, B purchase for 15,000, and C purchase for, let us say, 10,000. We total this as 20,000 purchases and purchase account would be debited for 20,000 but each of the supplier's account total if you add up purchases creditor's account would have been credited by 30,000. Again trial balance will not agree. Wrong account posting. So instead of taking it to X's account we record it in Y's account. So instead of crediting X's account, if we credit Y's account, there is a mistake in X's account, there is a mistake in Y's account, but the trial balance will agree.
But if you post to the wrong side of the current account, then trial balance will not agree. Not only will it not agree, the difference will be for double the amount. Double the amount difference. Posting to the wrong side of the wrong account. Again, wrong side of wrong account. Trial balance will not agree. If it was on the correct side of a wrong account, trial balance will agree as we've seen here. But if it's on the wrong side, trial balance will not So errors while posting, omission of posting, trial balance will not agree, partial omission may be there, wrong amount is posted, wrong account posting it would still tally, but posting to the wrong side of the correct account it will not tally and if you post to the wrong side of the wrong account also it will not tally. Errors which occur after posting is while the preparation of the trial balance we may take, make a wrong balancing of the ledger account. Will not tally. Trial balance will not tally. Omission of an account from the trial balance. We forget sometimes to take the cash balance. To forget to take the bank balance. Forget to take the debtor's total, etc. If you don't take, it will not tally. Wrong totaling of a trial balance, it's a mistake. We need to correct it. If there's wrong totaling, it will not tally. And taking the balance to the wrong side, also it will not tally. And the difference will be double the amount. Whenever we take a debit to the credit side, debit item to the credit side, the difference will be for double the amount. So errors after posting, wrong balancing of ledger account, it will not agree. Omission of the account won't tally. Wrong totaling of a trial balance will not tally. Take it to the wrong side, it will not tally. And the difference will be for double the amount. <laughs> a quick summation. Error of omission. We may omit a record. Wrong amount may be recorded originally, but trial balance will tally since both sides are there. This is an error of commission. Partial omission of a transaction, again it will tally. Transaction in a wrong book, it will still tally. If it's recorded twice also, it will tally. But in this case, it would not tally. And while posting, there is omission of posting. Again, this is called an error of omission. The other errors are errors of commission. Partially done, wrong amount is posted, wrong account is posted, it will tally. But wrong side, wrong side of correct account, wrong side of wrong account, it will not tally. Similarly, while preparing trial balance, while balancing the ledger account, the or an account is not taken to the trial balance, we total the trial balance wrong or we take the take balance to the wrong side of the trial balance again here. Once the side is changed, like I said, the difference in the trial balance will be for double the amount.